Hello everyone. I wanted to come and to share with you my excitement and anticipation and love to what the Lord is showing at this time. And this picture right here encapsulates the essence of what I want to share with you in this video. As you have learned from what I have shared before, the Lord is showing the time that is elapsing now until his coming according to the sign of the Son of Man. And December 12th was the last part when the bell of the trumpet, seventh trumpet, formed in the heavens. And that was the day when the UN General Assembly met in regards to the word in Israel, and they made a decision about a humanitarian ceasefire. And this was this time was marked in the heavens by the forming of the trumpet. And if you remember before, when the war in Israel began on October 7th, that was at the mouth of the trumpet. And the prophecy that talks about uh, the Jesus shared, the prophecy of the Son of the Son of Man, it says, then there shall appear the Son of the Son of Man which is uh, drawing in the heavens, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And we shared how that's associated with what happened on October 7th in Israel. And then the next part says, and then, and then shall appear uh, the Son of Man in the clouds of heaven. And so that is the part that is to fulfill now as we continue looking at the path of the comet and the constellation of Orion. And um, yesterday, because it's already after midnight, uh, uh, was December 13th. And on this day was the beginning of the last 168 days of Earth's history. This is a cycle in the constellation of Orion that is uh, known as to be a clock of God. And we have shared articles about this in the, uh, on the website lastcountdown.org. And it's significant, the time, the, the count of the days, 168 days. And we shared the significance of that or the application of that in this article, The Faithful and True Witness, in our, on our website. It comes with the, uh, from the prophecy of Daniel 12 and the oath of the man of the river and the formula that God reveals. And that is exactly the count of days for that, for this period that has begun already. Now, December 14th, which is now, is the date when, in the sign of the Son of Man, Comet K2 goes from the constellation of Monoceros into the constellation of Orion, and it starts ticking the final rapid movements of Earth's history. And as you see, the path of the comet goes through the constellation, delineating through the area where the stars are that represent uh, the feet of Jesus, Saif, the right foot, and Rachel, the left, and um, on, right under the bell stars that represent the throne of God, Alnitak being the new name of Jesus, uh, prophesied in Revelation 3.12, Alnilam, the name of the Father, and Mintaka, the Holy Spirit, and in an article that we share on our website called Sealed and His Name, we share how the sign of the Son of Man that forms the Alpha and Omega signature of our Lord represents what uh, is shown here uh, of the star Alnitak with his new name and Alnilam, the name of the Father, and how God wants to seal us in his name and give us a blessing. Now, recently, uh, on this past uh, Saturday, Sabbath, we shared a very touching um, lesson in a video form that I want to invite you to watch, to go to our website and right on the homepage, you will see uh, dedicating the third temple because it shares about what the Lord is doing and will continue to do at this time, wanting to 
seal his children in his name and give us the blessing that he promised. So I encourage to, for you to watch that uh, video. And as we continue during these days, I want to encourage every one of you to look up and to give, receive the understanding that the Lord has given. This is the last great battle that was prophesied in Revelation 19 when Jesus will fight for his people. And it's super amazing, interesting how for those who are really willing and wanting to learn about the time and also what the Lord is pointing to, God reveals um, the importance of the time. Maybe, maybe not everybody knows the clock of God in Orion, and that's why we share it, because God has uh, given us that understanding. But God uses each of his people sending messages, and they are of one accord. And this is what is amazing. And I say that because precisely um, December 13th, which was the first day of the battle, this this uh, YouTube channel that shares prophetic words, you be ready. And he has a prophecy called The Battle is Real. And when I read the title, I was like, wow, December 13th. And I read the text of what he shared. And there were two areas and specific i mean you should read the whole thing but i will put the link in the description of this video but listen to this he says in this area he says the times ahead from this point forward now this is december 13 which we have recognized in the sign of the son of man as being the first day of the last 168 so from this point forward he says um will be sped up so 160 days, 68 days. And the ruler of this world will have his rule for a short time. So that is a promise and a prophesied, a prophecy of Jesus that the time will be shortened. So right here at the end of the sign indicates the shortening of time. And, and he says, the evil in this world will now grow much worse and you must be anchored to the rock that will not move. I am that rock. Be anchored to me. Repent now. The Lord wants us to be ready and he wants us to. Also, this part right here, my son, tell my remnant, your days to shine lie just days ahead. Because this is the time. It says, equip yourselves with my armor daily and strengthen yourselves with prayer daily. And that is something exactly what the Lord has put in our heart to do to increase uh, our efforts in regards to bringing to the Lord everything about this time and asking him for his kingdom to be established and for Babylon to fall. And speaking of that, it's interesting that precisely on December 13th, we have news about the impeachment inquiry into President Biden in the United States. Now, in the United States, there are a lot of prophets and a lot of uh, students of the word share how the United States is representative of Babylon that is prophesied in Revelation 18 that to fall. Now, we will see what will happen with this in the future, but there is no coincidence that God shows these things and he gives to many, not just one, one person, the understanding of the time. So I encourage each of you that as the time elapses, this 168 days, that you will prayerfully want to learn from the Lord. And we invite you to come to our website, whitecloudfarm.org, and read the articles. We have shared a lot of articles. When you go to the homepage, you see the videos that we published and also the feature articles that we published. And we want to ask, uh, we want to encourage you to come and to read and to learn so that you can receive the blessing from the Lord at this time and understanding and, and sharing with those around you that this is real, that it is here, that Jesus is coming, that his clock in, in the heavens, his clocks in the heavens show that. And that you will learn, maybe you even want to 
um, download, download Stellarium and your computer is a free uh, uh, program that you can learn to use so that you can watch for yourself and follow for yourself the last steps in, uh, in this world and prayerfully ask the Lord to help you and all the challenges that you will face because the time ahead will not be easy as is prophesied. But the Lord is near. God says that he will be with us until the end of time. And he fulfills his promises. And I'm just filled with joy for the knowledge of his love. And, and it's expressed also and given us the understanding of the time. So be blessed. And I will continue to share videos about the things that we learned. And we encourage you to share with us that you can. And... Um, Blessed, blessings to everyone.